Introduction of guests, the member from Nickel Belt. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have some nice visitors in the gallery with me today, and it's a family from Nickel Belt. We're talking uh, um, Mr. Neil Haskett, his wife Tabitha Haskett, who's a daughter of a good friend of mine, and uh, their children, Clarice, Aidan, Natalie, and William. Please welcome to Queen's Park. And they're here to support my colleague from Hamilton. Also, I better identify the member from Hamilton Mountain to introduce some guests. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would also like to uh, welcome some guests. We have Kenneth Reed, Bobby Gellner, Chris York, Pat Hudak, Kim Chu, Zane Sherwood, Angela Sherwood. Many folks, again, uh, along with the Haskett family, are here to support uh, the reading of uh, my bill today. So thank you and welcome once again to Queen's Park. Introduction of bills. The member from Hamilton Mountain. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, I move that leave be given to introduce a bill entitled "An Act to Amend the Ombudsman Act with Respect to the Children's Aid Society," and that it now be read for the first time. Ms. Taylor moves that leave be given to introduce a bill entitled An Act to Amend the Ombudsman Act with Respect to Children's Aid Societies, and it now be read for the first time. Is it the pleasure of the House the motion carried? Carried. carried. This is a bill entitled An Act to Amend the Ombudsman Act with Respect to Children's Aid Societies. First reading of the bill, Premier Lecture du Projet Loi. The member for a short statement. Thank you. There have been repeated calls from several quarters for Ontario to come into line with the rest of Canada and allow the Ombudsman to have oversight of child protection services. This bill amends the Ombudsman Act to allow the Ombudsman to investigate any decision or recommendation made or any act done or omitted in the course of the administration of the Children's Aid Society. Thank you. Production of bills. The member for 